Check it out guys. I was out in the field the other day and I came across some real live dinosaur eggs. I'm serious. Check check these out. Right there. There's like 20 of them. Well, 21 of them. Uh, there's another one right here. But it's kind of off colored. This. This is an emu egg. It weighs about a pound and a half. And uh, in case I haven't shown you already, I have a couple of emus out back. And this year was the first year where they're in a different area from the pigs. Now, I usually get two or three of these a year from the emus, and it's really based on luck because the pigs eat them all before I get a chance to get them. The emu lays them, pig eats them. This year is a little bit different. This year I have the... Well, we lost one of the pigs, so one, one pig left, and he's living up at the barn now. He's an old man, he needs better shelter. So I moved him into a different pen, and this is what happened, right here. I went outside, and they've been laying for about a month apparently, and this is what I found. Twenty emu eggs. That's about 31 pounds worth of emu eggs, um, which is pretty awesome, except for I don't eat eggs. So I will be giving them away to friends and family and feeding them to my dogs. And then I'll probably still have some left over. Um, but anyway, I just thought that was really cool and I would share it with you. I took some more footage. I might work it in the vlog somehow. I got 21. This is Odd Man Out. Um, this one right here. It's just got, it's just weird color. And I think it's just where the outer outer coating didn't really develop properly. I don't know what that's a sign of. I'm going to look that up online, though. Oh, it has a good size comparison. This is a chicken egg from one of my little chickens. Right there. Next to the emu egg. The chicken egg weighs about 40 grams or so. These emu eggs weigh between... 630 and 700 grams. They are a little different. I have two different emus, so I guess I don't know if that plays a role in it or just one day they lay a bigger egg than the other. Um, anyway, uh, there's some footage I'll show you of where I came across all these out in the emu field. These are actual emu eggs, and they're pretty close to dinosaurs, or at least one of the closest things we have. You can eat these just like chicken eggs. They just take a lot longer to cook. They're very thick and they cook up very fluffy. Um, so I come out to feed the emus today and one emu just won't leave the back corner of the field. So I decided to investigate. And upon doing so, I found out why. So we're gonna go check that out. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera around. First of all, there's Sam. Sam is the nicer of the two, although they're both pretty nice. Sam is the more sociable of the two, I should say. Check out what I found. Anyway, so there's more. And here's another one. And over here are some more. And as I walk the fence line, there's another one. And another one. And, as if that wasn't interesting enough, I get all the way down here, and there's a whole clutch. There's a whole nest. That's Corona. She's walking around very unhappy because her eggs have fallen through the fence. I'm actually going to collect the eggs up, otherwise she'll stay down here the whole time. Because there's no mail in with them, nothing's going to amount to anything. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and collect them up. I give them to people for presents. Um, it's been real cold out. Eggs usually keep for three or four weeks on the counter, so um, they're probably all pretty good. Are you a good emu? Say, say what's up. This is a good emu. You are a nice bird. You see this emu ear? I don't know. She's, she's real conscientious about the camera. I don't know if you can see the emu ear right there. 
That's pretty cool. They just got these couple of holes in the back of their head. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. All right, so let's collect these eggs up. She is most unhappy that I'm getting ready to take her eggs. Hey, 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 I have to take these eggs. I don't really want them. I don't eat them, but they're just gonna sit out here and rot. I'm sorry, Sam. You're making me feel real bad about this, baby. She's right here with me. I feel like a total jerk right now. This emu is sitting here, very friendly-like, protecting her nest. And it's usually, I think, the males that sit on the nest, which is probably why I'm giving such an easy time about it. These girls have never been around males, so they act a little differently. Um, she's, she is, looking in the bucket right now, wondering why I'm taking her eggs, and I feel horrible about this. Sam. Sam, babe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did you? Okay, so that's why she just laid this egg. This is warm. She just laid this egg just now. That's what that was all about. I was kind of curious. She was fighting me to get to her nest position. This egg is warm. You can see, I don't know if you can see, it's wet. It is fresh out of the emu. And she's acting completely different now. So um, that's what it was. This is her laying spot and she, she wants to, she wanted to lay here. She's off walking around now. So I guess that's what I did. I was interrupting her laying session. That's the second time though that she's laid an egg at my feet. That was, that was definitely something else. All right, let's gather the rest of these up. So I've lost count. I have no idea how many total there are. Look, it's a uh, bucket full. And I'm gonna have to come down here and put a board or something against down here so they don't wash down in there anymore. Whew, they're heavy. I bet you this weighs 30 pounds of emu egg. So the emus are checking out a bed I just made for them. These guys do not like confinement at all. If you make them anything that has much of a roof or too high of walls, they won't go in it. I have a barn with stalls and doors that they fight me to go in when it gets too cold. I have to forcibly put them in there. But if you make them something like this, some straw, some low door, some low walls, and a little tiny bit of an overhang, they'll actually sleep there. I worry about them when it gets really cold, and when it gets below 25, I usually lock them in a stall, but they much prefer being out in the open. And even when it's like 30 degrees outside, they'll sooner sleep out in the leaves than sleep in a stall, even if I leave the door open. Anyway, they're over here checking it out. I just. I just got done with it. They love fresh straw. What do you guys think? They're really cool birds. Did you lay all those eggs? How did you lay an egg that big? How did you lay an egg while being a boy? Where's your eggs? Hmm? Where's your eggs? Say what? Say what? <laughs>